Hi people and welcome to the channel. I am Richard and today I'm going to be talking about Army Painter's paint set for Zombie Side. I'm going to unbox this, I'm going to take a look at the content uh, and talk to you a little bit about this beautiful little box that they have made especially for the game Zombie Side Second Edition. Uh, in this you get a bunch of cool things, you get a free brush, you get a exclusive mini to the game and 20 war paints. Let's take a look. So I'm gonna unbox this for you a little bit and uh, show you all the content. But first I want to tell you a little bit about Army Painter. Who are they? I mean, you know them by name, but do you really know them? They were established by Bo Penstoff and Jonas Fering in 2007 in the beautiful country of Denmark. How do I know it's beautiful? Well, I used to live there. They started this with a lot of experience these guys have painted, listen up, 30, 30 full armies. That's like, that's like a lot of miniatures. I mean, I complain if I'm going to paint 10. So they had in mind that they wanted to cut down on painting times and preparation times and make more time for actual gameplay. So they made a bunch of products. They made a primer where you prime and you skin color at the the same time. So this one, one for example, I'm going to use this on the zombie side set when I get it. This is the necrotic flesh. So you prime them and then you have skin color and you prime them at the same time which will save you a lot of time. With this done I only need to paint the clothes and just spray on some blood. But shading you say then you have shading. Well they have another beautiful great product they have a quick shade i would say that this is probably the thing they're most famous about the quick shade and what you do here instead of you say sit down and you shade every miniature by hand you just dip them the whole miniature and you dip them down you shake off the excessive shading and then you just let them dry 48 hours it's it's quite a beautiful product you can also just dip the pencil and dip on the the minis if you want to but it's, it's made for actually just dipping them. And of course they have varnishes that you can spray on and they will the minis will just last for years and years and years. So that's a little bit about Army Painter's other products that they also have which I can strongly make, recommend. Uh, and this video, this video is going to be the first one. I'm going to unbox this, this uh, little box here, show you the content. But when I get the Zombicide 2nd edition, any week now, when I get them, I'm going to use this set and I'm going to fully paint every miniature. All of the 80, 80 miniatures, I'm going to paint them and I'm going to make a video. And I'm going to show you that even uh, a half bad painter like myself can do a pretty awesome job using this set. Okay, so let's open this box. This box is actually not in retail yet. It will be out in retail in April of 10, but Army Painter have been so kind to send this to me, so I could do a little video for you. Oh, there's a lot of things in here. There you have it, it's an empty box. Thank you, no thank you. Here we have, here we have the full scale of all, scale of all 124 war paints that they have. Uh, and they have a 100% color match. So if you, for example, if you use the Primus, you're going to find the color to paint on later to ma match 100%, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then, of course, we have the guide, the free guide. If you ever bought an Army Painter product, you will have seen this guide lying just next to the products on the shelf, probably. They give this out to everybody. It's a, it's a cool little guide. Where you can just uh, see how you actually paint. How do you spray? How how do you shade them? How do you paint a zombie? I think they actually have the, the zombie side paint guide in this one. But let's take a look at the uh, the box. We have a little brush here from them. Zombie side hobby brush, size one. This is an exclusive for this box. Look at that tip. That is sharp. You could you could pick out an eye with that one. Just put that one back there, safe and sound. And then we have the miniature. You get a miniature, an exclusive miniature 
for the game. This is Phil. This is Phil. Let's open him up. And take a look at him. There we have little Phil. I'm going to do a little close-up picture on these ones later on so you can see all the detail, but this one is is super detailed. It's really, really, really cool. I just love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him here so you can look at him. Look at that little fella. Then we have the colors. We have 20 war paints. Uh, the unique and the, the great thing about Army Painter is that they have a high, high pigment in their paint. So you don't have to use a lot to get a great coverage. But it also means that you have to shake them really good before you start painting because all the paint, uh, the pigments, they're like, you can, you can see it like sand. They go down in the bottom, so the pigments are lying right down here now. And I would have to shake them pretty good before I start to paint so I get that full coverage. And as you can see on these bottles, these are full size bottles. They are not the, the small sample size, these are actually the, the real size. So you have the, the dark tone. Dark tone right here, and we have the the dead black, of course. All the zombies are running around dead. Abomination skin. That's gonna be cool. I love that. It's so like I said, I'm gonna use the, the the primer to to prime them and get that skin color. But of course, I'm also going to use uh, the skin colors on some of the zombies just to get a little variation on the type of zombies as well. Machine gun metal Machine gun metal of course army painter has a machine gun metal right it just it makes sense Shotgun metal Hopefully you can use this one a lot. You will need a need a shotgun in the zombie side game uh, We have the mold, mold moldy clothes. Sorry moldy clothes Depot green Washed jeans Glistering blood. This one will be great to cover up all the mistakes you do when you paint the zombies. And also the survivors. I guess you, I guess you could spray them a little bit as well. Motlo flames. In case they are burning, I guess. My little friend Phil. We have the crushed shore. Filthy suit. Dirt splatter. And then we have a strong tone. This is of course a, a wash. The flesh wash. The survivor skin. Wanda blonde. Rotten skin. Zombie skin. And pale white. So that was the colors, people. That was all of the 20 colors. But let me just tell you here what you actually get in these colors. Like I said, Army Painter have a high amount of pigment in their paints. But what does that mean? Well, that means that they have way better coverage than some other paints. Which means that you will save a lot of time when you paint. You don't have to do several, several strokes. This will probably just use one, maybe two strokes and then you have a full coverage, which will save you an amount of time when you're doing bigger paints. So instead of painting one time, letting it dry, painting it again, you do one stroke and then it's, it's done. And as I said before, in the start, you also have their primers. And this one is just brilliant. I mean, if you're going to paint five or six miniatures, you maybe don't need this. You can just paint them by hand and then you can paint on the skill. But if you're going to paint 70 zombies, you would want to have this. Because once you have primed them, you have the skin color. Which means that you prime, you let them dry, and then you just paint on the clothes and, of course, a lot of blood. To quick shade or not to quick shade? That's the question. And many people debate on this, many people don't like this, and a lot of people love them. Uh, me personally, I love them. I think this is a great product, because, well, it saves you a lot of time. I don't have the time to sit down and shade every miniature by hand. I just, I just don't have the time, I don't have the patience. This one 
would just do the job for you. And you'd literally just dip down your miniature, shake them off, and let them dry for 48 hours. It's going to look scary. When you have dipped them down, you do take them up, it looks scary. It looks like you have ruined the miniature, but you haven't. As long as you just make a good shake and let them dry, it's going to look really good. Plus, I don't have the skill to make the shading look as good as this does. So this is just a lifesaver for me. It saves time and it saves so much energy, frustration, and it gets the job done really, really good. Uh, this one you do not want to shake. I mean, the, the war paints you have to shake. Like I said, you have to shake them really good so the pigments run around. This one you do not want to shake. This one you just open up and you stir it around a little bit because you don't want too many bubbles in this one. Try it out. Try it out on maybe one or two miniatures. Check out the results. See if you like it. Me personally, I think that this one is just amazing. So there you have it, people. That was the Army Painters War Paint Set for Zombicide Second Edition. Like I said, this one comes out in April of 10th. But you can already now go in and pre-order it. It costs 55 euros, which is not that bad considering the amount of paint you get here. This is full-size bottles, so it's no sample body bottles or anything like that. Plus, you get a brush and you of course get this little cool survivor fill that you can use in your zombie side game. And you can just see he's ready to go out there and kill them zombies. Uh, like I said, I'm going to use this paint set to paint my Zombicide second edition game when I get it. Uh, but I'm also going to use the Necronic Flesh, the primer. I'm going to use the, the, war the Warnish, uh, matte Warnish. And then I'm going to use their Strong Tone dipping technique. So I'm going to show you a little bit how that works as well. How you prime them, I'm going to show you how you dip them. And also just I want to show you that that even me, I mean I'm not a good painter, I'm not a professional painter, but I can make this look good using this set. You don't have to be an expert to, to actually make your game pop out a little bit more. But there you have it, the, the Army Painter Zombicide Second Edition War Paints out in retail on April 10th. Go in, take a look at it, I will have a link for Army Painter down in description. So you can press it if you liked this video, if you want to see me paint the entire Zombicide second edition using this set, please subscribe. You can like the video, you can comment, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and I will see you next week.